What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast, we went to this uh, very famous Seattle cafe. I don't know if I want to name it, but we went there for breakfast today, and it was very good. Uh, for lunch, I don't know what I'm going to have. And for dinner, I'm working from 2 to 6, and so I'm probably going to have a sandwich at work. Um, you know, I'm just hanging out. I am doing my thing. You know, nothing's really going on. Cookie cooker is going well. I just did an ascension yesterday. No, two days ago. And that's turning out pretty well, so I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm just doing my thing. Um, nothing's really been going on. Frankly, uh, you know, I've just been hanging out. Um, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, nothing's going on, sorry. Nobody's home though, I'm drinking a, a Coke Zero Cherry Vanilla Cherry Vanilla Zero Sugar Coca-Cola. Um, and, uh, you know, frankly, those are, they're, they're pretty tasty. Um, yesterday I was thinking about maybe getting a wrap at work, um, but I decided, um, I decided against it, because, like, you know, I don't, like, I can, I can wrap food up, like, in a, in a tortilla, right? But there's, like, a way to make wraps at my sandwich place. Um, and, you know, so I'd have to ask someone, and everyone was, like, a little busy, like, they were all doing things. Um, and, you know, I was about to take my break, I was gonna make my sandwich. I was like, well, I, you know, I don't want to bother anyone, I don't want to, like, you know, I don't want to ask people, like, hey, should I, um, like, can you help me make this, this, this wrap, you know, when I could just make a sandwich and not have to ask anyone, you know? So, you know, I was a little weird. Uh, but yeah, you know, yesterday at work was actually really good. Um, I, uh, my, my coworker was like, hey, hey, Leo, can you, um, uh, wrap up this DoorDash order? And the sandwiches were already wrapped up and made, and I just need to put the sandwiches in and then put the chips in and then some cookies and then wrap up the bag. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, so I did that and that turned out pretty well. Um, you know, I'm doing more things at, at work lately, um, so I'm happy about that. Uh, yeah. This is a little cringe, uh, but on on 4chan, <laughs> there's this board called G, and it's um, like technology, you know, um, and they just talk about Linux and stuff, and, uh, you know, I don't really like the vibe there very much, uh, but, you know, I go on there sometimes to, um, you know, to see what people have to say. There's some interesting opinions there, and I learn about new pieces of software that, you know, you don't really hear about anywhere else because they're very sort of cutting edge on a lot of stuff, um, and, you know, I, I went there sometimes, but it felt like sometimes I just needed to, you know, because I, I just needed to find stuff out, and, uh, you know, I, I hate it there. I honestly don't really like it, um, but, you know, it's it's useful to find some information, right? And some people are a little funny there sometimes, uh, but, you know, I'm a rather, I'm a rather, you know, progressive person, I suppose, and, uh, you know, it, it's kind of weird the things people say on there, you know, especially if there are no, not, not too many rules, right? Uh, but, you know, I've been going on, um, this other website called Lane Chan, like the anime serial experiments lane. It's like lanechan.org, and they've got um, this technology board on there. And, uh, you know, something I find interesting, like something that is like particularly noticeable, is, you know, if you go on G, um, you know, because of it being an image board, people tend to, you know, talk more and like type more per post uh, than they would on something like Twitter or something, or not even Twitter, but like a Reddit comment or something. Um, you know, people talk more on G, uh, but you know, you go on Lane Chan and every comment is like really long. Every every comment's like a blog post, you know, and everybody's talking and it's really interesting. Everyone's really, uh, everyone's pretty respectful. Um, everyone's nice. It's like a good vibe. Um, you know, the reason why I'm saying this on my channel is because, you know, very low amount of views, not very many people. Um, and, you know, so 
there are not many people on there and it's very nice, it's very cozy. So, you know, if you're ever into technology, go to lanechan.org and go to the tech board. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I'm just hanging out, I'm just doing my thing. Um, you know, my acne's getting a little bit better, my face is less red. Um, if it wasn't dark in my last video, you would see my, my red face from my from that acne cream. Um, but, yeah, some, some interesting actually happened last night. Um, I was... I think my primary problem is, like, I would rub in the acne cream here, and then I would put lotion and stuff on my face. And not only is there already still a little bit of acne cream on my fingers, but also when I rub lotion on my face, you know, after I wash it, the acne cream gets from here, and I, it's rubbed in pretty well, but there's still, like, some, you know? It gets rubbed in from here, kind of gets all over my face, right? And, you know, I was laying in bed, and it was the exact same burning that I had experienced two nights ago, right? Where there was burning, like, under the bags on my eyes, and, like, here, and a little bit on my forehead, and I was like, okay, obviously the same thing is occurring. Like, my face is going to be red tomorrow if I don't do something. So I had to get out of bed, right? I went back into the bathroom, I washed my face again, I washed my face off with all the, all the product on it, like, like moisturizer and stuff, and uh, retinoid cream. And uh, the thing I decided to do was, you know, my face was washed, no oil on it. I was gonna put some moisturizer on it, you know, no retinoid cream, no um, no acne cream. I'm just gonna put some moisturizer and, and you know, feel good, right? And, uh, you know, I laid back down. My face was burning way less. It felt way better. Um, but of course, you know, I wasn't getting the effects of the retinoid or anything, but you know, oh well. Uh, but, excuse me, but, um, the interesting thing is, is that, uh, you know, um, you know, when I woke up this morning, I sort of had a revelation, you know, that, um, you know, even after, you know, in the morning I apply this, um, sculpting, like, Olay sculpting cream that I don't think does anything, but it's very moisturizing. I put it on, I put on the sunscreen and I put on this lotion. Um, and I realized, oh, I should probably just put on the acne cream last so that I don't spread it around all, all, all over my face. And I had this weird um, sort of, uh, I wouldn't call it a misconception, but I had this odd idea that, um, you know, once I had put the lotion on, it had sealed everything into my face. And that's, that's partly true, right? But um, it doesn't mean that if you put acne cream on, it's not gonna work, right? Like, so I realized, man, I should just put on my acne cream last and then my face won't burn. And, you know, I don't know why it took me so long to describe that. And I don't know why it took me so long to realize that. I only realized it this morning. Um, but yeah, you know, that's something I realized. Notice how much better these videos are when my parents' show isn't happening in the background, my parents are home, they aren't talking in the background, and I, God, you know, I, I okay, I, I constantly have to worry about, um, like, what's happening in the background, right? Um, like, for example, uh, you know, sometimes my mom's going to the bathroom, right, and my dad's, and the, the bathroom's right outside my room, right, and that's, that's fine, right? But then my dad's out there, and he's talking to her through the door, right, and it's just loud, um, and it sucks because, you know, it's my video, you know, you, you don't, you don't watch this channel to hear what my dad has to say. You don't watch this channel to hear what my mom has to say. You don't watch this channel to, to my parents' shows, you know? Um, and so it's just a little irritating. And so when my parents are home, I always have to worry about like, oh, like, like, oh, are they watching their show right now? Okay, good. That means they won't be near my room, but if they're watching their show, they might be watching it too loud and then the background noise might be even worse. That might be more annoying because it might be like gunshots or something in the background of my video. And it's just something I have to worry about. But you know, notice how, um, you know, when <laughs> my, my parents are home, I can like talk and think and realize things. And I, I, I can like, I can like talk and like give interesting, what I think is rather interesting information, you know? Um, but you know, what can you do? Maybe when I'm like 20 or something and I move out, um, maybe these videos will become longer. And you know, I, I, I talk about, oh man, I should, I should start making these videos longer and then I don't. Um, and I think it's because I have nothing to talk about and it's like, it doesn't seem interesting, but I always have things to talk about. The problem is just that, um, you know, <laughs> there's always background noise. And so I always have to, have to worry about other things. It sucks. Um, so, you know, oh, well, I, I'm just cursed. <laughs> I sound annoyed. I'm not that annoyed. You know, I'm just, I'm just drinking my, my zero sugar cherry, cherry vanilla Coke. Mm. I love the aluminum beverage can. Shout out. All right, um, I hope everybody has a good day. I um, hope everybody enjoys their time with their families and their friends. And, uh, you know, follow your dreams. <laughs> All right, see you.